When was the last time that you went somewhere without your phone intentionally? Or when was the last time you carved out some time away from your phone? Phones offer us connection, safety, security. They are our cameras, computers, and our wallets these days. However, as convenient as they are, on the flip side, we use them less and less for communication, and they have become time-wasting devices that can leave some of us feeling distracted, disconnected, and depleted. For me personally, too much screen time leaves me feeling so uninspired, but for others it can manifest into anxiety, lack of motivation, or even disconnection. Now we all fall into this trap of wasting hours of our life scrolling on our phones. Don't get me wrong, phones have evolved into incredible tools for life and work. But we all fall into the trap of wasting hours of our life scrolling on our phones. There must be some balance. And if it doesn't come naturally, it might require a little bit of practice. Now, I cannot be the only one that spends way too much time on the computer, on my phone, during the working week. And then it gets to the weekend, and then, you know, you want some downtime. But downtime these days, it's sitting there doom scrolling on Instagram, on social media. So when I'm feeling like I need some downtime, and I've spent too much time on my screen, or I catch myself doom scrolling, I love to just get out in nature and just go somewhere or do something that forces me to put my phone down for at least an hour. So I've decided to go for a hike out in nature and I'm gonna leave my phone in the car. So that just gives me a little bit of time away from my screen and just to be fully immersed. The place that I love to go hiking, it is such a safe place. So I don't feel like I need my phone for safety or communication or anything like that. So oh, I'm just, yeah, looking forward to leaving my phone in the car and just immersing myself in amongst the Australian bushland for just a short space of time. I feel like it's one of those things that we don't do enough in this day and age, unfortunately. It really does affect your mood, your creativity, um, using your own imagination. It really does affect that. So yes, join me for an hour of peace without my phone. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Well, it's going to be different for everybody. You may not enjoy hiking or walking in nature, or you may be in a situation where you can't. Maybe you prefer connecting with friends or playing sport, or maybe learning a new skill like painting or playing an instrument. Whatever it is, intentionally putting down the phone is going to be beneficial in some way, shape or form. I think we might have a little kangaroo friend. I can hear something rustling in the bushes. I hope it is. I hope it is. This is what a lot of people are afraid of when they spend time alone. Just how quiet it is. I mean, 
because you do get lost in your own thoughts. But it's just so beautiful. There's no chatter, no social media. I'm just existing in the most perfect way possible. Mm. It's peaceful. enjoy hiking as a way to disconnect from your phone. Maybe you prefer playing sport or learning a new skill like painting or playing an instrument. If you don't do any activities off of your device, maybe now is a sign to start. Whatever it is, intentionally putting down the phone for a short while is going to be beneficial for your mindset in some way, shape or form. When we bury ourselves in our phones 24-7, we miss out on the small but mundane moments in life that make us feel alive, that connect us to one another and keep us present in the moment. So I'm actually doing the wildflower walk, which is just a short 5k walk. I didn't need anything too long or too crazy, but it's just a really, really nice, short, easy trail to do. And yeah, I actually haven't done it in summer. Or autumn because it's usually quite warm but it's a beautiful cool day today and yeah highly recommend it in winter or in spring so obviously all the flowers are out but uh yeah even if you just after a short little walk not a bad one <laughs> so normally if you come in winter the waterfall is actually flowing, but at the moment it is dry as a bone. Oh my God, so dry. <laughs> so that is normally a waterfall. We subconsciously take on the mental load of what we see on social media or in the news or in your inbox. And it seems never ending sometimes. For me personally, spending time in nature, like hiking without my phone or a weekend camping trip with no reception, this has really changed the way that I feel about my phone and reminded me to feel comfortable not touching my phone every single chance I get. The simple act of disconnecting will begin training you to realize that you don't need to physically be touching your phone or be in the same room as it 24-7. Start small, start by just one hour, by removing the temptation and really attempt to disconnect for just an hour. So while I love walking in nature or going for a hike, I don't always have the time to allocate. So if I need to disconnect, one of the other activities that I've been doing is writing poetry or writing short stories. And I was feeling particularly inspired after my walk out in nature, so I decided to write a poem about it. So if you have anything to take away from this video, I hope that you put your phone down for just one hour and reconnect with some friends, go for a hike, or do something very analogue without your phone for just an hour. So if you did like this video, please subscribe to our channel and comment and also like. I'm always very keen to read the comments. Escape With Me is all about travel and adventure around Western Australia, but one of the main things that drives this channel is just getting idea. outside amongst nature. Come on, buddy. Bye. It's just so, so nice to detach for just a little, little while, but to actually carve out time, like to actually carve out time to be free of our devices you know we make our kids do it um so why don't we do it for ourselves so i've just had such a beautiful hike i'm feeling refreshed i'm feeling creative as well but that's what it always does it always inspires me and makes me feel so creative when i'm away from my device <sighs> so yeah i'll probably go home have a glass of wine and start doom scrolling <laughs>